What's on, guys? <laughs> you always started out with what's up, guys? <laughs> so welcome back to another Marketplace Monday. So what we have here is a box. I bought it from eBay. eBay. So not Facebook Marketplace, but eBay. And uh, like I've said, the goal well, for these... Prime, so... Well, I, I think they Amazon shipped it in a uh, Amazon Prime box. So the goal for these is to see if uh, we could put out an investment and make money. And how we find out if we make money is we use recently sold listings on eBay to see uh, what the cards are actually selling for at this time. And what I did here was inside this box is a lot of... 20 or more graded cards. Um, some of them may be PSA, BG, BCC, whatever. So they, they could be a little bit of everything, but we're going to open this up and see what we, got. See what we see have. What we got. And um, I did already open the box, but I have not actually looked, looked inside the box. Um, but I did open it up to see exactly what it was and what it is. Um, so. Looks like they package it pretty good, and I'm going to pull some out here, and we're just going to make like a stack of cards, and there's a lot of them in here. I see a lot of tens. So we're going to see first off how, like what we have here. All right, I'm going to get rid of the box. Get rid of the paper. All right, so a nice clean service. And we're going to see what we have. Top two. So what's the first one? The first one is a 2000 Fleer Tom Seaver. This is uh, by ProGrading.com. It looks like it was graded out as an 8. It is a great of the game. I haven't heard of... PGS, uh, but there's a bunch of grading companies that I really haven't heard of. Next, we have 1994 Upper Deck, Bob Gibson, All Time Heroes. Oh. It's a nine. And this is a PSA. So, PSA is the gold standard when it comes to um, getting your cards graded. That's kind of who you want your cards graded by. And this came out to be a PSA. Nine, and it is a 1994 Upper Deck Bob Gibson All-Time Heroes. Next, we have FGS, another company that I haven't heard of. I do like their cases, though. They have this, like, little embossed F in the corner there. Uh, and this is a 2005 Upper Deck Joe Morgan Classic. And this was graded out gem mint as a 10. Um, hmm. Next, we have a Yankees, Babe, Ruth, and Lou Gear. <laughs> Lou Gear. So this is a 2010. I don't know what happened to this one. So this is where you have to kind of be uh, looking for a little bit better grading companies because uh, this company is called CLG Authentics. And uh, it came out as a mint 10. The card actually looks like a mint 10. But um, Once it I, don't know, came here. I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of like not centered in the card um, holder. In the card holder, it looks a little, you know, cockeyed. But, you know, it did come out as a uh, rated as a 10. CLG Authentics. Next, we have 2006 Upper Deck of Cole Hamill's Rocky Hard. Came out as a 10. And, and again, same thing, same company, CLG Authentics. Um, came out as a Gem Mint 10, but um, it's it's all cockeyed. It's not actually like... I wonder if I can tap it down. Oh, well, I guess with a, a little tapping, it kind of sets back in, but I'm pretty sure that's not uh, very good for the Cole card but uh, yeah Cole Hamill 2006 rookie card gem mint 10. Alright so we have 1997 Bowman's Best of Darren Estead. Good job. 
So um, I have heard card. of PGI, Pristine Grading International. Uh, these guys are pretty good, um, right up there with uh, PSA. Um, but I, I like their casings. They're nice, thick. They feel like you got something there. But a Darren Estead, uh Gem Mint 10 card right there. Let's see. And just, I'm going to... I have an X card. Do a minor shift so we uh, don't have as much shine coming off from the light. What's next? I have no idea what his last name is. All right. 2007 Troy Tulowitzki Rookie Edition card. Uh, so it looks like this is a 1952 uh, Tops design. Came out as a PSA 8. So it's funny about PSA. They're a little bit more uh, picky about their grading structure. So even though this card looks, you know, almost perfect, uh, great corners and everything, it still uh, came out to be a PSA 8. Next we have a BC CG. 1995 Ultra Strikeout Kings Gold Medalation Second Card of Roger Clemens yep. Numbered BCCG You get a lot of these um, It's a very inexpensive company to send uh, off to um, But this is a BCCG uh, Number 10 of Roger Clemens and There's what the back of the card right there Next we have a 2000 Braids of the Game Warren Svan Sideways. Close. 2000 Greats of the Game Warren Spawn. This is pro grading. Um, and this came out as a graded as an 8. And he had a pretty long career. We have way too many of these. We, we do have a lot of these. Um, this is a, my fir our first graded one. This is uh, done by Beckett. So um, if you don't get it done by PSA, get it done by Beckett. Um, this came out to be a, this is a 1987 Fleer, Mark McGuire. Came back as an eight. Um, and this is a Mark McGuire rookie card. So that's a very nice one. Next we have... A 2002 Diamond Kings, Andrew Jones. Or Andrew, I don't know. Yep, you're right, Andrew Jones. And again, done by PGS Grading. Came back as a Mint 9. Crowning Moments. I feel like we got one of those. Uh, we do have one of these, but this is our first graded one. This is a... Different grading company already, uh, Global Authorities, 2008 Tops National Baseball Card Day. The number one card, Alex Rodriguez. It came back as a nine. And there's what the back of the card looks like. We're going to have to do a chase for his rookie card. Next we have a 1961 Tops. Now this is an interesting one. So this one is not graded. It's actually um, just in a case and says it's an authentic card. A 1961 Frank Sullivan done by Beckett JSA. I think it's Beckett. All right, where's the other Beckett one? There's this B. I thought, I thought we had this a, is Beckett. Yeah, it's a Beckett. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Beckett and JSA are a joint company, but this was done by Beckett and JSA. Uh, and it doesn't give a grading. It just says who it is. Frank Frank Sullivan. And, um, oh, it back. says it's autographed. It's an authentic autograph. Here's so that's back. really cool. It's actually an autographed card. Next we have a caramel Owen. Same thing happened. So, uh, CLG Authentics, uh, Carl Malone, 1989-1990 uh, Hoops, came back as a Mint 10. But again, it's a little uh, 
funky in the case there. Don't we get this one graded? So next is a 1991 Topps traded Jason Giambi rookie card. And that was done by PSA. Where are you going? I feel like we got that one graded. No, come, come back. All right, next up, ooh, this is a nice one. Done by PSA. A 1989 Hoops Michael Jordan. Card number 200. Always good to see a graded Michael Jordan. Cool. What's next? Alex Rodriguez. Another. 1994 Classic. So, what was the other here, Alex Rodriguez? Um, I think we had a second Alex. Oh, right here. So, this is a 1994 Classics Alex Rodriguez. Alex Rodriguez, Cream of the Crop. Um, this is actually before he started playing in the MLB. So um, this is even before his rookie card, because his rookie card would have been 95, I believe. 94, 95. Next we have... We did that one. What's next? All right. Another CLG Authentics. A 1994-95 Fleer Ultra. Wayne Gretzky. And this came back as... Graded as an 8. It's the back of the card there. Nice Wayne Gretzky. We have a Cal Ripken from 1989 Don Ross. Now, we got this card uh, last Marketplace Monday, but it wasn't graded uh, in our Cal Ripken Jr. collection. But there's the Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, this came back from Mint Grading Services as a Gem Mint 10. And this is a 1989 Don Ross Cal Ripken Jr. Next we have 2007 Upper Deck Artifacts. Can you pronounce that one? Nope. Nope. A 2000, a but it, no, 2007 but Upper Deck Artifacts Daisuke Matsuzaka Rookie and uh, Professional Grading Authority and came back as a Gem Mint 10. Back of the card. Ooh, what's that one? Is that a Barry, uh, Bonds. Barry Bonds rookie card? Oh, here's a nice one. Uh, done by Beckett. Came back as an 8.5 near mint. To mint plus. Uh, I like Beckett because they give you all the uh, separate gradings like the centering, the corners, the edges, the surface, and kind of give you a little bit more breakdown of why you got the grade you got. Uh, but that's very nice. Um, Barry Bonds, Barry Lamar Bonds, graded card, or graded rookie. We have a BCCG 1990 Bowman Nolan Ryan, 10 mint or better. So I don't know how you could get mint or better, but there it is. A 1990 Bowman Nolan Ryan. That's a nice card right there. Don't bang them around like that. There's the back. There we go. Oh. So. This is CLG Authorities. That's why you heard Xander kind of tapping the card around because it was off center in the uh, case. But uh, 1989-90 Hoops, James Worthy. And it came back as A-10. Kirby Punter. 1989 score. Hottest 100 stars, Kirby Puckett. Came back from BCCG. As a near mint. And there's a there's your shot of Kirby Bucket right there. What's next? Another one that's kind of oh no, that one's fine. Uh, this is done by Global Authority. Uh, this is a Sammy Sosa rookie card from Tops, 1990 Tops. 
and that came back is a graded as a nine. It's a very nice card. Let's see, what do we got here? I wouldn't worry about tapping these around. Next is a 1993 Topps Traded Todd Helton rookie card. And this uh, came back is a graded as a nine. But again, from that CLG Authentics, I might have these uh, resent into um, uh, another grading company just to, if they're worth getting regraded. Uh, but there's the back of that one. Vladdy. Uh, different Vladdy. This is the dad. So this is a 2006 Fleer Vladimir Guerrero, not Vladimir Guerrero Jr., uh, who is the big uh, draw now, but just his uh, dad, Vladimir Guerrero. And this came back as a BCCG 10, mint or better. It's a very nice card. A 2002 Diamond Kings, Louis something. Louis Gonzalez uh, from PGS Grading. Yep. And that came back as a gem mint 10. And what's the last one? 2017 Sage Hit, the former draft peak performance, PKST Sol Solomon Thomas. So this is a 2017 Sage Hits premier draft peak performance of Solomon Thomas, uh, BCCG uh, 10 mint or better. Um, I'm guessing a lot of these um, BCCG cards uh, came from you get these like weird boxes in like Walmart and Target um, I think they're called like gems of the game and You'll always get a graded card in there and it's usually from BCCG um, And they're usually worth a couple bucks, but let's see how many we got here. So again, I paid $62 for this entire set of cards and again the goal here is to see did we get a did we make a profit or can we get a profit if we sold these cards? Um, how many cards do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, so 29 30. Not quite 30, but 29 cards. Um, I actually think the ad said there was, there was 20 or more in there. Um, so they came out to be what two dollars and fifty cents a card, um, but uh, like I said, at the end, what I'll do is I'll put a. Uh, wh while I'm doing this, I'll actually add the uh, prices, and uh, we'll do a tally at the end and see if uh, we made money, or, or we, we lost, lost money. money. All right. Bye. Thank, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.